To manage orders on the screen, you can simply tap on different elements of the order to interact with it. Tapping on items in an order will cross them out. You can also tap again to remove the strike through. Tapping on individual modifiers will mark out the individual modifier. But if it doesn't make sense for your kitchen, you can change this setting in settings, orders, and disabling strike through individual modifiers. Now tapping on any modifier will clear the whole item. Tapping the header of an order will bump the order from the screen. If you need to access an order that was previously bumped, you can tap on the recall icon on the left sidebar to access the recall menu. From here, simply tap recall and the order will appear back on the screen in the state in which it was bumped with a recall icon at the top left of the order's header. Sometimes you need to move an order's position in queue after it has already appeared on your screen. Using the Actions menu, you can access a few options to make sure the order is in the exact place that you need it to be. To open the Actions menu, press the button indicated by three dots on an order. You'll see a few options come up on the right of the screen. Starting at the top, the To Front button will move the order to the front of the queue. The Forward button will move the order one place ahead. The backward button will move the order one place behind. And then the two back button will move the order to the very back of the queue. From this menu, you can also hold an order, which will allow you to keep an order off screen until it is ready to be made. After tapping hold, you can select a time that you would like the order to appear. You can even hold an order for days at a time if need be. When an order is held, you will see an icon on the left sidebar indicating that you have an order in holding. Tapping the holds icon will let you see the orders that are on hold, what time they are held until, and even lets you release the order early.